Hey, so um, today we're gonna make uh, a Christmas bauble that looks like a rememberal, or at least try to. Um, we made one here. You can see it's sort of um, supposed to <laughs> transitioning to look like a rememberal that's just turning red because you've forgotten something. <laughs> So that's sort of the aim of this. Um, all you need is an arts and crafts shop, um, sort of empty bauble. Most of them have them in various sizes. And then we got some cotton in different colors. So we just used um, these makeup removal pads, but you can actually get different colored cotton in store mostly, in, in hobby craft stores, which would make it a lot easier because we dyed this with acrylic paint and it makes it quite stiff and hard to use. It took and, us a um, while and then we were like, yeah. oh, maybe if we just used we red just, wool, yeah, that would have, have made just it easier. used red wool or red cotton, both of which you can get in any craft store. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, lesson learned, but we, we're we doing it like this now because we still get a lot of that. Um, then we have some golden tape, which we're gonna put around it afterwards. Um, a bit of string where we where we can hang our bobble from. Um, again, choice is all yours. You could have a simple one. We sort of uh, twirled one, and then we have some glitter glue. And yeah, we can start now. So if you if you've seen the remember in the films, they have a sort of glittery. Well, sort of a swirl pattern on the outside. Um, there's various different ways in which you can do this. Uh, some of which are getting like fine gold pens or fine silver pens and just drawing swirls in it. That way it will be a bit more visible. We just have this now, so we're going to use it. Um, it's quite nice to use some glitter because it will just accent it later. So I'm just going to draw some glittery swirls on here. Doesn't have to be like if you're you... gonna get a marker or something. Obviously, get yeah. something that can write on plastic. Yeah, um, it's quite maybe... slippery. Yeah, it's a little bit more difficult. I mean, we found with the glue, even if we left it for a long time, it didn't really set. So we were just like, oh well, if things okay. go in, at then least... at least it has the glitter effect. And... Exactly, at least it glitters. Yeah. That's uh, a phrase to go by in life. <laughs> so there we go. Doesn't have to be. So super oh super good looking for this because later on you can hardly tell any swirls anyway it's mostly for the glitter effect there we go so now you can see a bit it, it looks kind of cool and now we can assemble our cotton so we want it to be turning red from white so we take some white and then mix in some of this <laughs> Ready slightly pink. slightly dried out pinkish red that we have again if you use materials uh, that are already cotton or wool this might be a lot easier it doesn't have to be tidy anyway i mean it's a remember it's just all smoke let's see should be quite full to get the effect i would say more red more red yeah. you're right let's get it ready let's get it super red mm -hmm. let's make this red boom because you've got like different kinds of red because of how it's sort of dyed, it, you know, it, it looks, I guess, a little bit more natural. Like it's Yeah, we totally intended to this. <laughs> there we go. Just closing it up. Okay, this kind of looks a bit magical already. Now we want to put the golden tape around this. We've pre-cut a thin slice of tape, so it's half, half the thickness, half the width. Um, and now I just have to be fairly careful to put it all the way around on the um, line where it's closer. Yeah, I mean, it is probably going to crease a bit. The, th the wider the tape, the more it's going to crease because it's a it's a round shape. So there's no way you can lay down a flat tape without it creasing. And the thinner it is, the easier it's probably going to be. This way is fine. We're gonna have some creases, but that's okay. Could be old cracks, you know. It's a vintage, vintage remember. <laughs> uh, the gold cracking. Okay, and now you got this bit hanging over, which we can cut in the middle to sort of lay it around the loop. Let's see, again, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. 
because the string's gonna go through there anyway and anyway this is hobby craft so it's fine so just trying to make this look a bit more like a remember all you can already see oh you forgot something okay oh now we have a string that we can just attach to the loop at the top Let's see whether i can put it through here oh not always as easy as the first up oh, there we go okay you can use anything maybe something golden would fit as well Whoop. and there we go you have your remember ornament it's going to join the others that we've made already and i hope um you're gonna have some fun with these over the holidays oh dear We've previously made a lot of um, <laughs> Christmas baubles, so we'll put a link here to the one that we made with the groom who's coming out of... Uh, Where should we put it? I don't know, Maybe just pick a, pick a spot for now. Uh, yeah, but this is our Remember All and our Grim, but we've also made Lego Man and um, snitches. snitches and uh, felt ones. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, we'll send a link to previous Christmas decorations that we've made. But uh, we hope that you like this little remember all that's busy transforming. And hopefully we remember to get everything right this time. Um, we'll speak to you later.